Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of the Market Preview. My name is Vasily, I'm your trading coach and professional forex trader. For today's weekly edition, I prepared for you something new. This time I will teach you the indicator that I use in my trading, in my strategy that I apply for day trading. And this indicator is called the RSI, the Relative Strength Index. And you know, there are hundreds and hundreds of ways of applying this indicator in trading. And I will show you one of the efficient and simple ways on how you can efficiently apply it in your daily trading, right? So I think this lesson will be truly very interesting for you and I think you will learn a lot just watching this short video. So don't forget to like this video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, don't forget to leave a lovely comment and enjoy this video guys. All right, guys, so to show you how this method works and how to apply it in practice, we're going to analyze Euro Pound pair. In my view on the Euro Pound, we have just the perfect example on how we can apply our soy and how it will help us to make accurate predictions. But remember, there's a very, very important rule to follow. Always, before you apply the indicator in trading, you must first of all analyze the market with price action, with the structure. It is the first step of your analysis, no matter how you trade the market. So here on the Euro Pound, you can see that during the last few days, we had just the exceptional movement. On the daily time frame, you can see that here we had a strong bullish rally. And I think if you trade the pound pairs, you'll notice that pound right now clearly losing its grounds. Yes, on Brexit news right now, pound is a very, very weak currency. However, if we look left at structure right here, you can see that right now the market is quite close to the current high of 2020. Yes, this high is based on the daily candle closes. And here by this week, here is our current market high, right? And you can see that the market right now is closer and closer to that. Now, looking left at structure, you can see that here we also have the high of 2019. Yes, and it is even closer to us. Yes, this is the crucial structure of 2019. Now, if we switch to the 3D short, if we analyze the structure from the higher time frame perspective. You can see that here is the high of 2017, right? It is it matches with the high of 2019. And here is the high of 2016. So why do I show you all that? Why do I show you all this key levels? The point is that right now here we have the very 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 important zone of supply yes so here if we draw this box right here we unite all these levels in one because they are lying very close to each other and here we have just crucially important zone of resistance and from that zone the market will most likely drop once it reaches that and what you should realize right now you can see that right now the market is perfectly entering within that zone the market is already in and right now we are trading within a strong zone of supply the problem is however that this zone is very wide if we measure the range of that zone you can see that it is almost 300 pips right here and it is very 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 difficult and complicated for us to say from which point from that zone the market will drop we are quite sure that this zone will be respected and bearish movement will follow from that but from which point exactly from which level if we just start shorting from here from current prices chances will be high that we will be stopped out before the market will start reversing and if we start opening short trades from here 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 you know chances will be high that our account will be in a drawdown and you know it is very 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 bad habit to do like that so we need something else we need something that will help us to narrow that zone to help us to to give us a signal an accurate signal that will help us to predict from which point exactly the market will drop 
and our soy here will help us. Our soy helps in such situations. And now let me show you how with our soy we're gonna make predictions on your account. And to efficiently apply our soy, we need to first of all add it on our chart. Right now we don't have any indicator on our chart, so we need to add that. So I open the indicators tool and I add the relative strength index. Yes, so right now it appeared on our chart and let me make that big for you. So here on the RSI, we have a very wide zone right here. And first of all, remember guys, RSI is used to track the overbought and oversold conditions of the market. And the logic is quite simple. Once the market reaches the overbought condition, it will most likely drop because the market is, is overbought, yes. And oversold condition gives us very high chances of that the market will bounce and reverse, yes. With that in mind, here we have our white range. We call it the normal range. And one, once, while the market is trading within that range, you know, it's just no signal for us. It is just the normal price action. But things become interesting once the market goes beyond that range. Like, for example, it happened right here. Once the market is beyond that range, it is the indicator that the market reached the overbought condition and that the market will most likely drop as it happened in 2020. Yes, this year, once the market reached the overbought condition, it dropped. Yes, but it is not that simple. You know, we can't just short the market once it reaches the overbought condition. Moreover, you know, things turn to be quite complicated once we open the settings for the indicator. It turns out that we can play with the settings and we can change them. And you know, based on my experience, I realized that this levels the 30 and uh, the 30 and 70 that we use for overbought and oversold condition, they are not relevant for intraday trading. I want to make them more precise, yes, I want to narrow the range of overbought and oversold condition. For that reason, I apply in trading the 80 and 20 levels, yes. I apply these levels and you can see that with these settings, right now our range of normal price action becomes much bigger, yes. and the times when the range for overbought and oversold right now, these ranges are very, very, very narrow. Now, one more thing that, and by the way, why do I do that? Why do I narrow these ranges? The problem is that quite often RSI gives us false signals, false signals of overbought and oversold market. And for that reason, we need some techniques to avoid these false signals. And this technique with higher levels, with 80 and 20, will save you tons of money. Just trust me, it will save you so much money. And with my back testing, I realized that this 80 and 20 levels are very, very efficient. One more thing that we can play with on our saw is the length. Let's open the inputs right here and you have the length. Length is how many candles the indicator takes for analysis. And right now you can see that we have 14. Once again, based on my experience, I realized that this 14 number works only when you trade on very high time frames, when you are a swing trader and you make long term predictions. But for our intraday trading, we need something more precise. We need precise and accurate signal and in time because you know on lower time frame the market is very fast. Once it reaches some structure, it bounces immediately. So we need more precise signal. So here I apply the seven lengths. Yes. So here are our settings for the our soy. Now let's discuss how they work and how we apply that in trading. And yes, yeah, so idea again, very simple. Once the market reaches the overbought condition, chances are high that the market will reverse. But you know, uh, it's not that simple. So first of all, let's add one more condition in our analysis. We apply overbought and oversold condition on our side only when the market reaches the key level, the key structure area. If 
the mock it reaches the overbought condition but it's not treating within a strong structural resistance we just neglect that uh, that signal so what i'm talking about right here i'm talking about right here for example about this overbought condition yes so the market right here reached the overbought condition yes and though it is a very val it's valid signal on RSI you look left at structure and you can see that our key zone of supply is lying much 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 higher over here and moreover even if we would decided to treat this structure right here you can see that the market was lower than that so that signal is false and we even don't consider that we just skip that and we don't pay attention to that we pay attention to oversold and overbought conditions only when the market is within the key structure remember that it is a very very crucial important rule for you to correctly apply the RSI and now let me show you how we apply it once the market is within the zone so to show you how to apply it when the market is within the zone let's first of all remove all these arrows and all that and just concentrate our attention on the uh, key supply area that we identified on the 3d chart so what we should do here we need to analyze the peaks of the market and measure the uh the levels on the RSI yes so what do I mean by that here is our high of 2020 yes here it goes and based on that we need to know which level precisely RSI reached before it reversed and here the RSI reached the 86 level yes the 86 level right here and we draw the horizontal line based on that then we analyze the peak of 2019 the high of 2019 yes here it goes and here RSI reached the 84 level so we draw the horizontal line again yes the 83 point nine level if we want to be precise then we look left yes and we return to our high of 2017 and here our soy reached the 88 level yes very 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 overbought market was in 2017 and then lastly the high of 2016 here the market again reached the 84 level yes bit higher than the high of 2019 so here here it goes so why do we need that yes why do we need this information and how are we gonna apply that uh in trading so first of all realize that the market on your account reversed only at least when it reached the 83.9 level only when it reached that level in the past the market dropped it may go higher but it must at least reach that level this overbought level on the RSI and now let's analyze the current perspective of, of the market let's analyze the current value of RSI you can see that though we are already trading within our zone of supply you can see that RSI right now is just 74 it didn't reach the overbought condition and it didn't reach the required level we need at least 83.9 and very important thing right here guys so we need at least 83.9 level yes based on the historical perspective you know what we can do we can place the alert on the indicator yes so if we add the alert on 83.9 level yes you can see alert we can say RSI overbought euro GVP yes once the market reaches the needed overbought condition on the RSI on euro pound we will be notified and only when the market reaches that condition on our side we will look for short trade before that we don't trade your account at all we just watch based on the historical analysis on the historical perspective we realized that at least that level was reached before the market reversed so for that reason it is better for us to wait 
until this level is reached. The euro pound is very volatile pair, so it will be very easy for that pair to reach that number. So for that reason, for now, we just wait. We now wait until this level is reached. And one more thing before I let you go. Here, remember that we once the market reaches that overbought condition, we don't blindly sell the market. It is just the signal for us to look for trading opportunities on the lower time frame. Once this level is reached, we start looking for opportunities. We start analyzing the lower time frame, the four hour, the hourly chart and look for the confirmation reversal signals there. Yes, so it is not that simple that you just short once this level is reached. No, 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 no. It is the signal for you to look for short opportunities and to start looking for short trades. Yes, realize that, apply that. I want you to backtest this approach. This approach is very efficient and it helps a lot once the market is reaching a very wide zone of structure and you don't know where to short that. It helps a lot. So try it, try by your own and then text me and let me know whether it works for you or not. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I truly believe that it was a very good lesson for you. And I truly believe that it will help you a lot in trading. If you want to learn more, if you want to learn my approach and if you want to see how I see the market, how I execute the trades and how do I trade, you can always become my mentee and I can become your trading coach and teach you one on one. We can work with your mistakes. We can analyze the market together. We can trade the market together so you be better in trading. So contact me on Trading View, Telegram, Twitter, Instagram. All the links will be in the description below and I will be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel and leave a lovely comment and let me know what do you want to learn in next videos. Thank you so much and enjoy your weekend.